Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Massachusetts is about to violate Second Amendment rights on a whole new level, one that has never been seen in the history of this nation. What do I mean? Stick by and check it out. So yesterday, the Boston police announced that they are just about to pull the trigger on a software that will monitor social media. This program will monitor the internet and social media for criminal activity and threats against public safety. It's a step that even some of the silly civil liberties groups here in Massachusetts are saying it's a worrisome risk against freedom of speech and privacy. Now this software is able to search blogs, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, anything you can imagine that's out here right now as a current social platform or mo uh, a, a mode in which people can express themselves or communicate, it's gonna search that for certain key terms that they could deem as a threat. Now what this program is gonna do is once somebody's targeted for whatever they're looking for, it's gonna report a geofence. Oh, first it's gonna report the IP address and then give the police a geofence around where that uh, computer is or that laptop is or whatever made that post <sighs> and this is where it gets crazy once they have that geofence they can set search criteria and it'll send alerts to the police department when new posts are made from within that geofence for instance this is a pro second amendment channel i live in massachusetts i can't stand tyrants so i'm assuming they're probably gonna have a geofence around my house because i talk about freedom you know that thing that they don't want us to have here anymore under the liberal agenda. So let's say, let's use me for an example, okay? So I say that uh, all guns should be legal and uh, Mara Healy is a tyrant and she needs to be sued. So now there's a geofence. <laughs> Probably was already here anyway. But now anytime I post another thing, another video, uh, another thing on my Facebook page or my Instagram having to do with whatever search criteria they want, boom, they get some alerts and they start compiling all their data. Big brother. Now the Boston Police Department is going to spend uh, up to $1.4 million for this software and expects to have a vendor no later than December 5th, six days from now. Now let me read you this quote because I find it hilarious. Keep in mind, former law enforcement here, calling out law enforcement. The quote, Techno the technology will be used in accordance to strict policies and procedures and within the parameters of state and federal laws end quote, police spokesman, Lieutenant Detective Michael McCarthy said in a statement, I'm calling BS. Uh, there is no way I believe this. There is no way you should believe that. Because remember, the federal government had local police departments going around to uh, other gun shows in California, taking pictures of the license plates and creating a roster of these people so that maybe one day they could go take their guns. Uh, they said they would never use that software for that purpose, but they did. I could go on and on and on, and you could too, with all the things the government said they wouldn't do, but did, right? So we should believe them now. Then they're going to say, you know, the information we're looking at is already available publicly, so why is everybody getting upset? Because it's a violation of my right, it's a violation of my friend's rights, it's a violation of my countrymen's rights. That's why. Of course, Mayor Marty Walsh of Boston, ultra-democrat, ultra-liberal, he supports this, no, no duh. But what caught me off guard was that uh, the civil, civil liberty groups in Massachusetts which are very, very liberal. They slammed the department for a perceived lack of transparency and called this attempt to monitor everything on everybody on the internet alarming. And they've even gone to the argument, which is a smart argument by the American Civil Liberties Union. They said that Boston Police Department didn't go through any of the processes required by communicating with the public to ask whether or not the citizens want to use tax dollars to purchase this program. Now, similar programs were used by law enforcement agencies in Baltimore and Ferguson during the riots, and they got all kinds of information from Twitter and Facebook and, and YouTube and the like, and used that to their advantage. The FBI even signed a deal with Twitter recently that allows them to monitor Twitter's fire hose. What the fire hose is, is every single public tweet. Now, as a former cop, I know that information is paramount to doing the job, but follow the Constitution. People have rights. We have the right to free speech, and it's programs like this that put us in immediate risk, folks. And 
in Massachusetts, if you're talking about guns and stuff like that, they're going to put a geofence around you and they're going to flag you and monitor everything you do for the hope that you might say one wrong thing or you might do something that allows them to swoop down on you. Just another attempt by Big Brother at just snuffing out gun rights and snuffing out free speech by anybody who's not a liberal here in Massachusetts. In fact, it even has the liberals upset and worried. And that's hard to do for a liberal. But here we go. Now we are in the age of computer programs monitoring everything you say. We all know they were watching everything anyway. You can't even go to the store without passing intersection cameras and traffic cameras and you don't think that they don't use that stuff? I know for a fact they use it. So uh, it's, it's crazy what's becoming. We can't get the Donald Trump administration in here fast enough and hopefully he follows through on some of the things he promised us to get our votes. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your damn weapon. Just be careful how you say it online. <laughs> Take care.